Council, instead of naming our houses after the beautiful flowers and the amazing animals that we have in our country, we thought it appropriate to recognize these four key founders. So today, the Red House will be named Sulu House, whose idea it was to have Education Africa found a school in Orange Farm. The Green House will be renamed Plaster House, the Chair of Education Africa, who dreamt of us working together, Masin Lombardi. The Blue House will be named Sussman House, who as a patron showed the importance of care and fighting for justice. And finally, the Yellow House will be renamed after James Ferdinand, the CEO of Education Africa, whose vision it was to start the school to be successful. And if I can ask the founding families to also come up, in the Ravonia trial in 1964, he influenced a new generation of leaders in his two decades on Robben Island. His lifelong passion for education was shared with his beloved wife, Albertina, a great political leader in her own right. This is their legacy to future generations. Welcome, Mr. Sulu House. Give us a cry. Right, everyone in the greenhouse, please stand up. <laughs> Here now, the Claster House. Dr. Agri Claster was the editor in chief of the Sowetan who became famous for championing a novel idea of nation building, an initiative he started in 1988. During a time when South Africa was engulfed by the flames of violence, Agri Claster called for moral regeneration. 
He wanted South Africans to look into the future and take their destiny in their own hands. Through nation building, he tirelessly launched into crusading journalism that looked to heal the scars of the black community after decades of apartheid. He is widely regarded as the ultimate newspaperman. Give us a cry, Greenhouse, Cluster House. Right, it was time for the Blue House. Here now, Sussman House. Helen Sussman was an opposition member of Parliament from 1953 to 1989. For 13 years, she was the sole progressive MP in Parliament, and for six years, the only female parliamentarian. She consistently challenged all of the discriminatory legislation and security laws introduced by the apartheid government. After retiring from Parliament, she became president of the South African Institute of Race Relations and served on the IEC for the first election and as a member of the Human Rights Commission. She worked tirelessly as a public servant, lending her voice to those who were powerless, persecuted and imprisoned. Ellen Sisman proved that one person can make a difference. Give us a cry, Sisman House. And finally, the Yellow House. Please stand, Yellow people. You're now Erdan people. <laughs> James Erdan is a social entrepreneur, humanitarian, and CEO of the found and founder of Education Africa. With the support of Walter Sisulu, he was instrumental in founding Masambambani College and continues to play a key role in the college's growth and development and making it a top-class educational institution. His life goal through Education Africa is to provide quality education opportunities to poor communities in need, to promote social cohesion, and to take every opportunity that life presents with the ultimate goal of bringing about real positive and meaningful change. Give us a shout out for Erdang House. Thank you so much, Founder.